Look, Sophia, look. Our island. Oh, that's cool. That's the cool. Let it be. The augmented reality sandbox is essentially a, a device for experiential learning that uses 3D imaging and a projector to project topography onto sand based off of its proximity to the 3D sensor. And what the AR Sandbox allows us to do is first have the kids create their own terrain so they can build their own mountains and valleys and mesas. But then immediately as they do it, it creates the topographical line so they can see the difference in height and the difference in slope and they can see how they all interact together in real time. We have a technology coordinator who helps us find different things to help us with um, using technology in the classroom. And online there was this project, she sent it to me, and I immediately said, we have to do this. Hey, Mr. Sarda. The energy of the group has been fantastic. I think it sh shows the benefit of something with real authentic purpose. You know, the, them going downstairs and checking with the uh, third grade teachers on what they need, working together on the m multiple parts of it. So there's construction parts, there's technological parts. This is basically more like the technology side of our AR sandbox, uh, using a connect and uh, projector that we're eventually going to get. Um, basically, this is how we detect the distance of the sand, and that's what projects the image on the sandbox. So as you can see here, as I move my hand forward and backwards, the colors change. Um, so for example, if I was really close, this would, the red would signify the tip of a mountain peak, or if I moved it really far away until it got to blue, that would signify water. The original reference uh, on the UC Davis side is that it doesn't come with really useful dimensions for, okay, this is how tall it has to be, or this is how tall your wall should be. It's something that we've had to figure out our, ourselves and through the power of 3D modeling and uh, mathematics, we've sort of done it. The third grade it's students, gonna it's going to change their entire <laughs> unit and how they look at geography and understand cartography. Watching the third graders' reaction Whoa! to the sandbox. We, I didn't want to tell them how to use it because it's sand and it goes based off of their movement. So getting to watch them just move the sand and watch it change with them and discover that themselves was something that I've been looking forward to the whole time. And they make a different discovery every time they move the sand in a different way. I thought it was really cool because you got to experience the levels of different like, landforms. It's more helpful for understanding. And you can also make it rain and snow, which I thought was pretty cool. I liked it because it was very realistic. Like you can make an archipelago, or you can make a moat around it. You can make pools or like little lakes. And it's very realistic because it has all the graph lines. And the higher up you get, the um, lighter the color will get. And then if you get your mountain high enough, it's like it's close enough to the clouds. It looks almost like snow at the top. Gosh, this is really cool. And then put your hands back. Take your hands back. Yeah. And then give it a second to render. Wait, ever move your hands away. And there you go. Oh! Oh! Let's make it bigger. Higher. More than the specific like skills they're learning on any project, it's really important to just go the, through the process of making something because you don't hit the same kind of roadblocks in like making a physical thing or programming something that you would in like writing a paper. You know, you just you hit different things. And there's no replacing that kind of moment where you're like, I'm stuck and I, I don't feel like I'm ever gonna get unstuck. And then you do and you overcome that. So right now, I'm just taking a brief break because we're running into, I guess we're running into a bit of an issue with the, uh, the way that the legs are going to go in. The more that happens to you, the more opportunities they have to do that, the more they recognize when they're in that place, and the better tool set they have to like cope with that. At Avenues we're taught a problem-based learning style, and uh, a lot of the things we do and a lot of lessons we do is uh, they're, they're interactive. So that's sort of given me, and I think all other students, the opportunity to learn really good problem-based skills and to be able to push through challenges in projects uh, it's really synonymous with what we've done here uh, because even though it's not you know a biochemistry project or a, a math project or, or a history project 
We've used the, the skills we've learned working in groups, sort of pushing through challenges and problems and delegating roles to organize ourselves in this project, and it's been really, really helpful. I think the, the greatest piece of this is seeing the students look at their work and sort of have even somewhat surprise in what they've created. Uh, the other day when Justin put together the box, he just stood there and looked at it and he said, look what we did. I mean, it was, you know, so those moments I think are, uh, that's why I do this work. It's um, when, they're, when the students get inspired by what they've created. Um, that's, that's just really satisfying.